What's going on? Um, well, I'd say the intensity, the attention to detail was really was really sound. Um, with all groups in the offense, um, there's very little mistakes as far as uh, mental error wise, but um, there, there are some things that we can improve on, just straining a little more, um, just being more communicative as a whole offense and make sure everybody's on the right page. Um, I, I'll say it's still in that same spot. I mean, the guys are battling. They're having, they're making great plays uh, throughout each practice, and especially in the scrimmage, um, they're 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 making the right calls, making the right um, making the right reads with, within the offense. Um, and I think it's really um, a competitive uh, room uh, in the quarterback room. It's a hard choice for uh, Coach Johnson, and so I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> Uh, I say it's a it's been a work in progress uh, since um, Russo got in. Um, I, I was pretty used to Peyton's uh, ball, but um, getting used to Russo's ball. I mean, now it's, it's it's pretty much the same from both of them. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me who's throwing the ball. What was your takeaway from the scrimmage on Saturday? The intensity, the intensity, uh, attention to detail. I think everybody was flying around. Uh, all 11 guys on both sides of the field were uh, just, just having a sense of urgency throughout the whole scrimmage. How would it differ from a scrimmage you've been a part of in the past, been your coaching fourth year, other coaching staff, all that kind of stuff, bring the ball? Uh, I say just attention to detail. That, that, that was the biggest, the biggest thing going into the scrimmage, and um, I think that's we, we delivered pretty well with uh, being uh, locked in, focused, and just, just ready to. Go out there, make make the right calls, um, make the right plays. So. Uh, I say Ron Williams um, and um, uh, Chester from a guy from Florida. Um, those those two guys really been pushing pushing me and, and the whole receiver room, making us get better. I think those two really have been standing out as a, as a, as our cornerbacks right now. Favorite favorite route? Uh, any route, honestly. But if I had to choose, it would probably be a post. <laughs> What's it like when you're wide open? You got ten yards on a receiver. There's seventy-five thousand people waiting to drop it, and you're waiting for the ball. Yeah. Well, just just concentrate. Just concentrate. Just fundamentals. It's, it's, it's a routine thing we do in practice all the time. Just got to translate to the game. I mean, one of your favorite things, though, to be wide open on that. <laughs> Hey, yes, sir. Definitely, definitely. Hearing that crowd is amazing. Can you uh, talk about uh, where you uh, progressed from last year to this year's game? Uh, I say um, getting off the ball better, uh, being more, uh, having having more rhythm in my routes, putting a little more flavor into my routes. Just, just, just improving as a, as a whole receiver. Um, Blocking wise, um, I feel more confident in my blocking. Um, get, getting in the right space to get my hands on guys. So. No, but it, it's it's a will, it's a want to type of thing. You gotta, it's a hard thing. So I think as a group, as a receiver group, uh, that that's that's a, one of our biggest improvements. That that's what we got to work on the most. Uh, just having that heart and just playing, playing it like it's a, like we're running the route. You got to take it, take it as that. Um, Keon Coleman, uh, Christian Fitzpatrick, uh, Montoy Foster, um, and Terry Lockett. Though those guys have really been standing out to me. Um, I've been trying to help them out as much as I can it, it, as I see them uh, making mistakes here and there. Um, just trying to improve the guys, man. Just trying to get everybody on the same page. Everybody moving on the upper path. Uh, I'm I'm not sure. That that's some. Um, 
Coach, Coach Ted, Coach Hart going to have to talk about. Right. Uh, I mean, we, we just rotate guys in, just trying to make sure everybody knows the offense first, just having the right guy out there that's, that, that, that we trust that, that'll make the right play. Um, I think that's the biggest, biggest thing for us right now, um, for that number three spot, just knowing what he's doing um, and, and the guy that we could trust. Mm -hmm. Uh, just uh, attention to detail, listening to Coach Hogg with what he's telling him. Uh, as a whole, he's getting better uh, at the top of his routes, uh, getting off of press. You know, it's just a, it's just progress throughout the whole room. Honestly. Uh, I mean, they're they're all intense. You know. To those guys, uh, Ron, he's a he's a pretty long corner, so he likes to use his arms well. So that that that's a real uh, tough tough challenge for any receiver, a guy with long arms. So and he could run as well. So that that's uh, challenging us as a whole enough. Um, and then we got Chester. Um, he's real light on his feet. He has great feet, um, good hips. Uh, he he's gonna be a player. <laughs> he's gonna be a player. Uh, I mean, we, we have our offensive goals uh, within winning uh, first down, uh, getting third down conversions, being 100% in the red zone, things like that. Um, and I think um, throughout this last scrimmage, we, we, we've reached those goals. So I, I think we're on the, on the right path. How quickly after the scrimmage did you watch it back? I watched it probably a couple hours after, and then we, we watched it as a, a receiver group. I mean, I, th I believe pretty much everything's filmed, so we have access to pretty much everything. So, I mean, I don't think anything's changed from that, from that standpoint. Coach, Coach Chester talked about uh, player coach team is better than coach coach team. Mm -hmm. Where are you at in that process and understanding your responsibilities and your roles, maybe you know holding guys accountable? Right. Uh, I've made a I made a huge jump in that uh, as far as being the leader, uh, more vocal leader. And I'm just trying to just trying to help guys. If I don't see see guys doing the right thing, just trying to help them, um, or just trying to push them, push them, uh, finish to the ball, uh, running off the field, running on the field, uh, make sure uh, helmets strapped up, everything like that. So uh, it's a thing we we talk about in our in our meetings, but uh, I just try and transfer it out here when I'm out here because. A uh, player-led team is better than a coach-led team. How That's success. How much did Dave Johnson win you guys over, especially in the receiver room, with, uh, with the talent that we have to you and your experience? You said what? Uh, how, how did he win you guys over in the receiver room with the downfield shots that he likes to make? Uh, I think it's a trust thing with Coach Johnson. Uh, we, we've showed him uh, throughout the practices, um, through our 7-on-7 seven and seven, everything like that, that we can take deep shots and we have the guys to do it and do it consistently. Mm -hmm. um, the running game is going to play a big part this year. Uh, we got Ken Walker. We got the whole old line that's uh, communicating better and just knowing what what they're doing and knowing how they did that after the play is over. Just um, t like I said, attention to detail. That that's what we uh, been been leaning on this whole year. No, that was a great energy. I, I think the energy has improved since uh, since the beginning, since we first started. Um, that's that's what Coach uh, Tuck is harping on, just just intensity, playing with enthusiasm, just having fun out there, and that I think that's what we're doing. Thanks, Jalen. We gotta get Jalen a lunch. Yes, sir. <laughs>